So lately I've been playing a lot of farming and branch themed games in The Sims 4 and I thought it might be useful to share with you some of my favourite mods to make farming more in depth. With these mods you can basically turn The Sims 4 into a much more expensive version of Saji Valley and just make it more fun in general. If you find this video useful please give it a like and all the mods featured here will be linked below so be sure to check the description for those. Alright so first up is an incredible mod that allows you to have free range animals. It really transforms farm animals from cottage living and completely gets rid of the need to have the big barn for every single one. Once you've placed down the invisible barn and grazing markers you can purchase animals by clicking the ground where the barn marker was placed and selecting animals from the Appaloosa Plains Ranch and Stables Market and this is open daily from 6am to 8pm. I really love this mod because it allows you to have a much more realistic farm or ranch because of the ability to have a much larger number of animals in the same space. You can also build custom barns and farm buildings so they can match the style of your farm much better than the default EA barn. The animals also have a greater impact on the environment, they'll leave cow pats and mud patches and they'll also roam across a much wider area on your lot. If there's a storm they're huddled together in the shelter which I think is super cute. If you already have animals in the game you could change them into free range animals by clicking on them and selecting this option however this is irreversible so make sure you want them to be free range before you try it out. Now this next one is more of a quality of life mod and isn't as exciting and razzle dazzle as the others in this list but believe me you'll really appreciate it if you're playing on a lot with a lot of plants or crops. So essentially this mod is the evolve all and fertilize all mod and it just allows you to evolve and fertilize all crops simultaneously with one click. This significantly enhances the efficiency of gardening and it will just also reduce the amount of clicking and micromanagement you need to do as a player. This next mod is all about cheese and cheese making and it includes a custom cheese press object and introduces the new cheese making skill to the game. Sims can learn how to curdle milk, make fresh cheeses and craft and age cheese wheels in cellars. These cheeses can be used in the normal recipes in the game and maxing out the skill will give Sims a buff whenever they eat cheese or a cheese based dish. If you're disappointed with the limited variety of farm animals in The Sims, the custom animals mod lets you download pigs, ducks and highland cows plus a bunch of other animals. Some of these animals can also be traded for meat although you will need separate mods for this which I'll also link down below but it's really nice to have some more variety of animals you can have on your farm and I think it just adds a nice little bit of detail. Another new skill and method of producing products on the farm is the mead making and honey processing mod by Pied Piper. So first your Sims can collect honey from wild honey trees or just from the bee boxes already in the game from seasons you can then filter or press this honey using the honey press there are a lot of different types of honey though the honey you can produce is limited by which world your sim is living in you can also choose to sell the processed honey or process it further into an alcoholic drink called mead so there's a skill associated with this and like cooking you will unlock more mead recipes as you progress through the skill recently i've been watching cosmic hippie use this mod in her medieval ultimate decades challenge i think it works really nicely for historic as well as general farm play when playing a ranch or farm style game i really don't like selling crops and produce directly from my inventory because it feels a bit unrealistic. Fortunately there is a solution, the live in business mod by Lil Miss Sam. This mod allows you to run a retail store, cafe or any other business from your home lot. This is ideal if you want to establish a grocery store, farm stand or farm to table restaurant while still working on your farm throughout the day. It's also super user friendly, you just have to add the relevant lot tray and use a door to open and close the store. A mod that goes really great with the live in business mod is this produce stand that replaces the previous fridges from the get to work retail stores. It's fully functional and allows you to store food items to style in your store and sims will purchase from these fridges. The stands also slow the rate at which items spoil and they're just generally really pretty and add a really nice farm shop feel to your retail store. Now yet another object on this list that can be used to process your ingredients is the liquid press by Brazen Lotus. So with this you can create nut milk, seed oils and fruit juices and package them to be sold. Now the previous mod and a few of the other mods on this list are all by a creator called Brazen Lotus because they just have a bunch of great mods for farming. Number nine is their core harvestables mod which really expands gardening and the type of produce you can grow. The mod basically replaces all the default plants to make them much more realistic looking. So for example the tomato plants just look more like real tomato plants and some of the plants are also replaced with crops that are used with Brazen Lotus's other mods. So I'd really just recommend checking out their website because all of their mods integrate really well with each other and there's a lot to see that I think you'll like if you want to do farming. So my final mod for today is this functional mill by Ice Mun Mun. This is a great mod with a lot of features so you can process different types of ingredients to produce flour, butter and sugar. There's a rustic and industrial version so that's nice because you can kind of tailor it to suit the aesthetics of your farm or ranch and the mod also introduces the milling skill which allows you to unlock new recipes as you go along. In addition there's some custom harvestable plants such as rice, flour and sugar cane that integrate the mod so you can grow everything you need for the recipes if you have the simple living lot trait turned on and you don't have to buy 
anything from the store. This creator also has a bunch of other great harvestable plants and recipes to download so also check out their website for some more mods. So that's everything, I hope you'll find this useful for your game and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe for more content on mods and CC. I'm also planning to release a video this week on farm and horse custom content to enhance the horse ranch expansion pack so make sure you turn on notifications so that you don't miss it. And as always everything in this video will be linked below in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!